No, is that, uh, th that is not uh, uh, any type of solution to being able to get back on your feet. So we need to be, we need to be reaching people uh, in, in the prison and in, in our jails uh, far earlier to be able to help people obtain uh, a GED, uh, to be able to prepare for uh, careers, to be able to prepare for entering into uh, uh, human services. And we need to be funding those programs effectively. We also need to be uh, 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 making sure that we're preventing uh, people from uh, going into this school to prison pipeline to begin with. And, and I think we, that, that starts young. That starts with investing in education. That starts with uh, having, having f a full supportive services for our youth uh, to make sure that we don't have uh, youth, youth following that, that track. We also need to uh, do sentencing reform as well. When you grow up with traumatic events, you oftentimes have difficulty concentrating in school. And instead of punishing these kids and putting them in that school to prison pipeline, we need to invest in our kids, we need to have counselors, we need to have mental health and health care on campuses, and that's the first step to stopping kids, mostly kids of color, from ending up in prison or jail in the first place. Second of all, we need to end the war on drugs, because really what it is is a war on people of color. And it didn't do any good for me to have the war on drugs. All it did for me was have a stigma to the problem that my mother was suffering from. So we need to stop the war on drugs. If we stop the war on drugs, we can get a lot of people from ending up in jail in the first place. And third, we should end private prisons. I agree with that because no one should be profiting off of putting people in jail. No one should be profiting off of locking people up.